Iris recognition is another way of identifying a person. Uh, as you see in these, in these images here, um, this is based on these visible features. Um, so if you look at the iris of a person, the, there are various rings and furrows and freckles in, in the corona, and those can be extracted, again, into a map and stored in the database for comparison. It's a very safe and very accurate technology and is being used widely. Again, as you see here, uh, this is the Heathrow Airport. Uh, somebody is actually checking in. So all you have to do is just look inside a camera. Um, it's semi-invasive because you actually have to participate, um, but it's not invasive uh, like other methods, other method, methods that, uh, that we'll see in a second. Retina recognition. Um, it's similar to the previous one, to the iris, except um, it doesn't look at the outside of the eye, it looks inside. So it actually looks at the pattern of the blood vessels inside, just like uh, an optometrist or, or an ophthalmologist looks inside uh, to check the inside of the eye. Now, this is very safe because no two retinas are the same, not even in identical twins, they will be different. So there, is no, there are no two persons in the world that would have um, the same retina. However, it's much more difficult and less convenient than the iris because you actually need a special device. As you can see here, you have to look inside um, a person's eye. So it's not a very common way of, of identifying, except maybe in James Bond movies.